Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm redoing uh, question 1D for the last paper that we did for the 2019 uh, November December uh, with the aid of a world level diagram uh, of logistic cycle, explain the major activities in the logistic cycle. Uh, as you can see from this uh, diagram, uh, when you're given a question on logistic cycle, my encouragement to my students is always draw it. So we have to know how to draw this diagram by heart. So every time, draw it in full. Even if they just say describe, draw it first, then describe. If they say label and describe, draw it, label it very well and explain. So the logistic cycle, it has been coming in the past two or three exams and students for June 2019 did not do well. But the student that I took for revisions, they did well in the November 2019. Now the logistic cycle, it has got uh, four key elements surrounding the center. The four key elements we have serving customers at the top, product selection to the right, quantification and procurement uh, below, and inventory management, storage, and distribution to the left. At the center, we have LMIS, Logistics Management Information Systems, and below it, we have pipeline monitoring, uh, organization and staffing, budgeting, supervision, and evaluation. Sometimes a question can come where they say, describe the pipeline monitoring. So we need to be aware of the elements which are in the logistics cycle so that we are able to respond to any question. But as you can see, those four key elements which are outside that I have described, we also have those blue arrows connecting customer service to product selection and connecting product selection to quantification and quantification to inventory, management, storage and distribution as well as to customer service. And in those connections, we have quality monitoring. So quality monitoring is adhered to at each and every stage. And as you can see also from the center, we've got dotted arrows, meaning communication to any of the four elements is in two ways, where the center communicates with the center, with the periphery, and the periphery communicates with the center. So at the center where we have our logistics management information system, pipeline monitoring, organization and staffing, budgeting, supervision and evaluation. This is more like the coordinating or the controlling center. This can be a district level and the peripheries are the health centers or it can be a provincial center and the peripheries are the districts or it can be at the headquarters and the peripheries are the provinces. I'm going to use an example of a BCG vaccine, how we handle it using or how we can explain the logistics cycle using it as an example. If you look at it saving customers, we have mothers who bring babies to the clinic for them to be given BCG 10 days at most after delivery. So saving customers, that is where the BCG is going to be given. But as it is being given, we've got registers of the numbers of people who are getting this BCG and the people at the head office, they always coordinate with the center who are implementing, who are giving the BCG. As we serve them, these BCG vaccines, they run out. When they run out, what do we do? We need to buy others. So what do we do? What is involved in buying? We need to select the product. And who is involved in selecting the product? The people at the center serving the customer, they select the product. But they don't select the product alone. They select in a liaison with the headquarters. So they select the appropriate medicine. In this case, it's the BCG vaccine. After they have selected the vaccine, they need to quantify how much do they need. So there's quantification and procurement. So the quantification is based on how much they use every month. And they also add in an allowance, which we'll call the buffer stock, so that they don't run out in case there will be an increase in numbers to the people who were given the previous period. So quantification and procurement is also done with the assistance of the center, which can be the head office, which can be the province, which can be the district. After quantification and procurement, we have these vaccines now procured. When they come, they are stored 
in storage and distribution where we've got inventory management this is where we've got money our medical uh, stores limited where they store these vaccines in optimum conditions where there is security and the cold chain is maintained as you can see as we are moving from each and every level we are maintaining quality monitoring so it is those medical uh, stores limited that are going to distribute to other centers such that those centers will save customers they will receive these vaccines this bc so that they can give other children so the people who are responsible for storage and distribution they also work hand in hand with the center which can be the district the province or the head office so this is what we have in the logistics cycle it is important to mention quality monitoring at each and every stage it is important to mention that there is coordination with the center and it is important to mention all the elements who are responsible at the center so the budgeting the supervision the evaluation is done at the center coordinating what is happening in the periphery so these are the steps and these are the stages and this is the logistic cycle for any other questions please feel free to write into the group and i'll try to explain to the fullest that you understand thank you